The purpose of this video is to discuss the inline object and all of its useful features. So the inline object isn't too terribly feature dense, unlike some of the other objects that we had discussed in some of these other videos. The purpose of the inline object, which you can add just by taking it out of the toolbox and adding it to a procedural timeline, is just to write inline script. Uh, inline script is written in eBasic, which is an offshoot of Visual Basic for applications, and it is our proprietary scripting language. The primary use for this inline object is to use this, this eBasic language in order to control the flow of experiments, in order to write to data files, and in order to generally allow you to do things that the eStudio interface doesn't allow you to do. So if you double click on this to open it in the workspace here, you can see that, like I said, it's pretty blank. Um, mostly it's just a place just to type inline script. Um, and it's just a blank field for that. As you can see along the side here, you auto number through inline script. And if you move your cursor to the bottom left hand corner here, you have the option to split the script window either, uh, either vertically here. And then you have the option to split it horizontally if you would like as well. like that. And keep in mind that you can do both vertically and horizontally, or one or the other. So if I only want horizontally, I can split it this way. This is extremely useful if you have very long inline script and you would like to keep your variable definitions in one window while editing the rest in the other window. Now inline script objects do have properties that you can change about them, and the properties don't actually show up on the inline object themselves. To find the properties, you'll have to go to Tools and then Options. And there's a tab here called Script. This is actually going to directly impact what shows up on the inline script. So first is this property here called Use Syntax Highlighting. This means that whenever you type anything in, in inline, whenever you type anything in inline script here, what's going to happen is if you use uh, a variable name, if you use any sort of operators, it's going to change the colors of those words just so you can easily recognize that, hey, I'm using an, in, an operator, hey, I'm using an and statement, I'm using an if then, those types of things. Uh, show line numbers allows you to determine whether or not these line numbers show up here. And then we have a feature called script sense. And script sense will just uh, basically auto predict what you are trying to type. We also have this option here to change the font of what appears in inline script. So right now it is set to just console as regular, but if you would like to, you can set it to anything that you want. And then uh, there is this option here to generate constants for literal strings. Um, this just allows you to free up more space in your experiment because literal strings do take up a lot of space. This allows you to auto-generate those constants. And those are all the properties that we have in the inline object. Like I said, it's a very simple object but can be very complex once you actually get into the scripting. We will be covering how to inline script in a future video, but for now those are just the basic properties and features of the inline object. Thank you very much for watching.